Senior scientist George Macadonis whistles while he works to process these blood samples drawn July 8th. As close to undock as possible. From astronauts aboard the International Space Station, he's with NASA's Human Immunology and Virology Lab, which for decades has been observing how space flight affects astronauts' immune systems. Scientists want to figure out why, because... If the goal is to go into deep space exploration, to go to the moon and then to Mars, it's very important that we maintain the health of the astronaut. And it's important he work quickly with these samples. This thin white band are the immune cells. And those start to deteriorate 48 hours after the blood is drawn. But thanks to SpaceX's redesign of its cargo dragon, which allows for faster unloading and a splashdown location near NASA's Kennedy Space Center, scientists like Macadonis, did not have to wait long. Dragon undocked the morning of July 8th, then splashed down off the coast of Florida around 11.30 p.m. July 9th. A helicopter then delivered the more than 5,300 pounds of cargo and science experiments to NASA's Kennedy Space Center around 2.50 a.m. July 10th. Uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, and we're wide awake. For those keeping score, we're now at about 40 hours. Transportation teams moved it all quickly into the space station processing facility, where support scientists had labs ready for researchers who had to start working on their experiments right away. These researchers have been doing these studies for sometimes years, so we want to make sure that we have everything set exactly as they need it. In the end, Macadonis received the blood samples about 42 hours after undock. We left him alone so he can concentrate on the very critical task ahead of him. It's very important to understand what's going wrong and how to counter 